Welcome to today's Shinokan Saturday. Today's technique is Kizami's Ki. Kizami comes from the verb Kizamu, which means to cut. Um, mince, hash, there's some other definitions, but essentially the idea is I want to slice through my opponent's defenses. If he has his guard up, you can see there's a gap here. That's where my jab would go. If he has the standard guard, you can see there's a space here and at the chin, that's where my jab would go. This isn't essentially this, uh, necessarily the same as a boxing jab, but it should be fairly close to the same principles. I'm not a boxer. You'd laugh at my boxing skills. I have done some, but I'm not a boxer. I'm beginner level, so you'd probably laugh at my karate too, so that's neither here nor there. But stance matters, and the change of the stance from, from a boxer's position, which might be more toe up in the back, some plod sort of down, there are wider, narrower stances. But in karate, we don't have any one stance to fight out of. Some will fight here, like your tournament guys bouncing on their toes, or even in a front stance, bouncing on their toes, with their hands kind of down below here. So how you, what you consider your tachiwaza, your stance, to a large extent is gonna determine how you actually deliver the jab. But the element, the essence of the elements of the jab are essentially the same. So I'm gonna go this way from a standard Zen Kutsudachi position, a front stance in karate, right? I have my guard. The jab here is going to begin with a rotation forward of the hip, a drive of the knee, which moves my shoulder and then extends the punch forward. What I'm working to do here is keep my knee, hip, shoulder all as a unit rotating forward to throw that punch. My elbow should not flare out. If it does, it creates a peripheral um, reception in my opponent. Anything that comes this way is easy to pick up peripherally. Anything that comes straight between the eyes, it's like the finger coming at your eyes here, can blur or make you cross-eyed. So the idea is I want the jab to be as linear and direct as possible. So if I come here from my fighting stance, I want my hip, elbow, fist, shoulder, all to move straight forward, straight back in that line. The idea being to cut through that guard space. Kizamizuki. Now, in a standard karate and kutsudachi position, I can do that with a lunge and back, a lunge and drag forward, or simply by turning the hip and the body to throw the punch. A jab is not a knockout blow. A jab can knock somebody out. Don't, let me get, don't, don't get me wrong, it can. If it's thrown powerfully enough, you can, you can put some juice behind that and get it. But it's primarily intended to be a speed thing. What we don't want to do in the effort to create speed is lose the power. Although the power is not the emphasis because it's not designed, although it can be, as a knockout blow, the power still needs to be there. If I just use my arm, I'm arm punching, I'm gonna get tired and there's, there's no potential for any kind of power really behind it, not for any period of time. So when I throw that jab, make, making sure I rotate, you can even pop up a little bit on the heel to lead, lean your body into it and then settle back. Now, in addition to the throwing of the jab, it's important that we retract that jab along exactly the same line. This is because my opponent, if he happens to slip, dodge, uh, parry, move out of the way of my jab, with my hand extended, no uh, even if I keep my chin nice and tucked and my guard up, when my hand is out here, I have created an opening. Anytime I make a move in chess, 
my opponent has dozens of counter moves. In karate, in fighting, as soon as I've created that opening for him, even though hopefully I've hit him and, and the idea is to cut through his attack or whatever he's trying to do to me, I want to cut through it. But I also want to get back as directly as possible. Now we call it kizamizuki, okay? Cutting thrust. But this can also be done as a finger jab to the eyes. This can be done, although it sort of contradicts my uh, peripheral notion, it can be done as a back fist leading in to strike, or a backhand open. Anything where I'm lunging, striking, driving off the front technically could be considered a jab. But specifically, kizamizuki is jabbing coming off of the forward hip with the rotation. Jab. It's a very mobile, very quick. The idea of it is to um, stave off your attacker. You know, and a super aggressive guy, if you can get the jab in and keep your guard up and your chin down as you're throwing that punch and get at him, you can prevent uh, or deter him, not prevent him, nothing is going to prevent an attacker who wants to hurt you except knocking him out. But you can deter him a little bit, slow him down, and then that jab creates openings for your follow-up techniques. Moving with the jab, circling as you jab to create angles that you again then follow up after you've created that opening. Kizamizuki, the cutting thrust, the jab, and again, because we're not boxers, we tend to shift, switch stance more in karate and not always fight one side. So it's important to learn to do same technique, right and left. You can begin that in place simply by learning to push your body forward, keep the elbow nice and tucked in. We can move a little side step, a little side lean with each one as you get used to throwing that jab. That's today's technique. We will have worked this again from beginner level up, but at this level it is a requirement for your advancement and having some skill in kumite, in actual free sparring, applying that jab on an opponent is important at this level as well. Thanks for joining. As always, like, share, subscribe, visit my new webpage, I'm trying to constantly update it, add videos and photos, um, information, upcoming tests or events or whatever in the larger Sadokan world, so orumsadokan.com. And as always, until next week, let's keep practicing.